Hey everyone and welcome to the channel. Today I am going to be reviewing Winston AI. Now, what is Winston AI? Winston AI is basically a detection software for AI. So it's AI that catches if you're using AI, all right? So in more detail, basically, you can take your text, right, from anywhere. Um, you can even uh, add it as a file or you can add it as a text and you can plug it into this AI tool and it will basically tell you how human sounding your writing is, right? If it thinks it's 100% AI generated, it's going to be 100% AI generated. And if it thinks it's 100% written by a human, it's going to tell you. And if it's somewhere in between, it's going to tell you that, right? Now, who could use this, right? So I work as a part-time teacher when I am not reviewing AI tools. And I have seen a lot of students, especially recently, handing in AI work. Now, most of the time, it's really, really obvious because there's a kid in my class who I teach in Vietnam and can barely speak English and gives me a piece of work that's at a university grade level. I know that they have cheated. I give it to you. You got me there. Right. So I'm sure some of the smarter kids are cheating in more advanced ways, maybe using a little bit of AI. And I could use this tool to check if what they were giving me is 100% legitimate. I'm not a writer or a web publisher, so I'm just going to use the information on the website to say how it would be useful for them. But it says here that search engines like Google can detect AI if AI is in your article and it will penalize it. It will go less high on the search engine. So if you're writing a blog post for um, search engine optimization, then you want to check if it sounds too AI. -y. So you could use this software then. And then if you're a web publisher, say you have a blog or something, and you can check that they're actually writing what they send you and they're not just putting it through an AI machine. Now there's one thing that this software is not advertising for. I guess maybe it's not so PC to advertise for it. What do you mean by that? It could also be used by students who are using AI in their work. You could put it through this software and detect if it's gonna show up as being AI. So I'm not saying that you should do that because that would be wrong, but that is something you could use it for. Please, no, no! All right, let's crack on and see how this works. I can see up here that I can get started for free and it has no credit card required. So that's pretty good. It means if I go over the free trial, I'm not gonna be charged. So let's get started. Okay, so when I click that button to start for free, I go to the registration page. So it says start scanning for free, no credit card required, so that's really good. And I can scan up to 2,000 words for free. So 2,000 words, as a teacher, I know that's only going to be like one or two essays maximum. So that's not really great. I'm not going to be able to get an idea of how good the tool is for just 2,000 words. So that's not a great amount for me personally. But let's get started anyway. So this is really handy. You can just sign in with Google or Facebook. So I'm going to try with Facebook. Uh, cool. Okay, so I'm here on the dashboard. I can see I can start a new project or I can do a quick scan. And then it gives me a list of my projects here, my documents. Very, very simple, which is nice actually. It keeps it quite easy. Um, okay, so let's start a new project. Okay, so let's see how good this AI detection software is. I'm gonna go to ChatGBT. So what should I ask ChatGBT to write? Right, actually, this channel has a website that reviews different AI tools. So maybe, I'm trying to write a review actually at the minute. So maybe I'll ask ChatGBT to see if it can, it can do it. So write a review for Content Studio A. Okay, so so this is AI writing a review for an AI tool that is going to be checked for AI by a piece of AI software. So we're really into the into the AI universe here. Okay, cool. So it's written me a review, so I can just immediately just copy and paste this in to my Winston AI. So here we're on to the Winston AI, and I'm just going to copy and paste this in. Uh, put the title and it was written by me not anonymous it's gonna be written by me Ethan A. Peel okay cool so we've got this we can scan it scan completed all right okay so it did really really well it says zero percent human and it was zero percent human straight from chat GBT so that's really really good that's great news okay it says the first part was unlikely AI generated, but it 
So we got that wrong. So yeah, it's got this prediction map here which shows you which bits are AI generated and which are not. So it got the first bit wrong here, but it managed to work out that the whole thing was AI generated. So that's that's really good. Good work, Winston AI. Well done. So I'm going to use the file upload feature this time. So it says I cannot use PDF files. That's a little bit irritating actually. Not being able to use PDF files. As a teacher, I get quite a lot of my stuff in PDF files because it keeps the format the same. Whether if I get dot and then I get it, it might go into my computer and the format might flip around and stuff. So not having PDF files is not great. I guess you can copy and paste the stuff from the PDF, but they really need to sort that out in my opinion. All right, let's select a file. So let's give it something easy. I'm just going to give it something, an old um, piece of work from my master's degree. Let's give it something like that. This should be relatively easy for it. Okay, so files uploaded. All right, and then I click on the scan files here. Okay, let's look at the results. 100% human. Okay, so it did that, it did that quite well. Um, well, did it really, really well, actually. So yeah, it was all written by me, so that's really, really easy. Yeah, so it's really good for recognizing when things are 100% AI, 100% uh, human. It's really good at that. Now, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to test it with something. I made a review article that was actually half AI, half human written. So I'm going to upload that now. And let's see how well it does with that, because that's a little bit more challenging. Okay. Okay, so I've got to click upload file. And then I have to click the scan past in here. You do not have enough credits to perform a scan. <gasps> see, so you can see I've only used this free software two or three times and already I don't have enough credits to perform a scan. Actually, this article is, it's only a few page article and it's over the amount of credits I'm allowed. So it's over 2000 that I get at the start. So, all right, just gonna, that's not very good actually. I think the amount of, uh, free scanning you should be able to use to test out if this software is going to be right for you. I've scanned two or three things and now I don't have anything left. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create another account and then a few moments that. later. Let's cross this works this time. Hey, okay. How are you at reviewing this Winston AI? Let's have a look. Okay, let's see our results. 8% human. LOL. Okay, so that's actually not correct. It was literally 50-50. So that's really not very good. Okay, so did it get the right parts? Mm, what I see here, got some of the parts right, some of the parts wrong. So yeah, not ideal that. Okay, so I want to finish this review with a little bit of a pros and cons and going over the prices for um, Winston AI. We use the free software here and I guess a positive is that it's free and it was very, very good. 100% accurate at detecting things that were 100% AI or 100% human. So that's really, really good. So I guess like, honestly, if you are using it as a student, wanting to check if your work sounds too AI or maybe for another reason it's really really good you've got 2,000 words so you can if you're doing a long one you can like use your Google and your Facebook to check that out for free so I think that's really really good and if you're a teacher or something you can check one or two articles for free not articles essays sorry something that that may or may not be AI you can check that's pretty good but I can see here for the paid plans, there's still a limit on both of them. 80,000 words for the essential plan, which is $12 a month, which for an individual, especially a teacher, is not an insignificant amount of money, right? So like a teacher doesn't have $12 or $19 a month to spend on AI checking tools. And 80,000 words, that's not enough. That's gonna be maybe one classes of essays and 200,000 words, maybe a class and a half. And if people are handing in things every week, that's that's really not gonna be very, very good. And if you're a university or something looking to buy this software, like 200,000 is not even gonna scratch the surface. So I think one of the major cons of this service for all the free essential and advanced plans is definitely that it still has a word limit. There should definitely be an option for an unlimited word limit. If I was Winston AI, I would put unlimited words for the advanced one. I think that that's what it should be. Anyway, guys, so I hope you liked our review of Winston AI. And subscribe to the channel, like, ring the bell so you get notifications, all that jazz. And yeah, stay tuned. We've got loads and loads and loads and loads of stuff coming out for you about AI tools. 
Um, so yeah, have a great day.